Just another concept. This is the BMW Neue Klasse. And I have heard that 90% of what we see today will be the next BMW 3 Series Electric. So it's really worth to take a detailed look here at this vehicle with Thomas Nautical in 4K, full screen, full length. Let's go. Here in the front, we can already see this is a so-called shark nose taken from old BMW models. So the top part laps a little bit over. Also interesting how the front bumper here really has this hole making like a real use of the bumper again. Can we see the light show again? <laughs> because there's also here in the front, you can see the double kidney is at the same time a headlamp unit it is basically both. And this is a very interesting approach. And what we can also see that, you know, from the BMW iX, this really huge, maybe beaver grill. This is more, again, this horizontal stress. But I think it's a really interesting approach to combine kidney and light because air intakes, you really don't need it anymore. Very interesting indentation right here. And then the BMW logo is really stands on it. You can really feel that there is no chrome on this vehicle. You might wonder about the Neue Klasse naming. Isn't that Mercedes? Klasse, like E-Klasse, C-Klasse. That's the German name for E-Class, C-Class. Well, they didn't copy from Mercedes. Neue Klasse was actually a naming from 1962 until 1972. And it was a model that was preceding the actual BMW 5 Series. This time here, it will precede the BMW 3 Series. We've also seen recently the Mercedes CLA concept. This one here is more an approach that has more angular design. Mercedes goes more into this round direction. This one has this rather typical sedan style, of course, electric platform, 21 inch wheels here and a massive styling, also with recycled aluminum. That's a new technology they are using and this brings down the CO2 in the production already. With aluminum is one of the biggest lever you can pull when you use recycled aluminum because it takes so much energy to use it as a primary resource. And that's also the scheme of this whole vehicle, bringing down the CO2 already from the production because that's so crucial even more with electric vehicles. The size or length, once again, like a BMW 3 Series, but they promise a space on the inside of the BMW 5 Series. And we can see this classic sedan styling here in the rear. Also, once again, the light signature, it goes almost all the way across, has a little split here in between. So they really continue the front design also here in the rear. And once again, with this bumper that stands a little bit out, this sprinkled material, it should also signalize using recyclables materials and so on. So it's both using recyclables for the car and later on that you can recycle the car, the materials that have been used and once again going all the way circular. As for the hard facts like, you know, battery range and so on, they don't announce something concise yet. They just say that the range and the efficiency and also the charging times, everything will be improved by 30% if you compare it to a nowadays BMW i4. So maybe we can aim, at least in summertime, ideal conditions, some 600 kilometers or 370 miles or maybe depending on the version, the battery version, if you go smaller or bigger, maybe five kilometers, 300 miles, and also charging times of 20 minutes, somewhat 10 to 80%. So this will be, uh, will be a huge change. And this platform here, this Neue Klasse platform, will be used for six different models, not only for the three series, but also for vehicles at completely different sizes. So now I will try to use the force to open these doors here. There we go. Yes, I have learned very well. <laughs> Inside of the doors, we can see they have this bright yellow color scheme now. Of course, different colors will be available at some point. Fabric on the top part, then here's some microfiber use, integrated touch buttons. Mm, yeah, that's not to my liking. I like, you know, real stuff to touch and feel. But I found this microfiber steering wheel pretty cool. Flat bottom, that looks very futuristic, but also racy. Wow, and this bright microfiber is also pretty cool. And look at that, return of cord or corduroy. I remember the E30 BMW 3 Series from my grandmother, and it had this cord material on the inside in black, however, here now in yellow. And it has a very special feel to it and some kind of structure. And it is not decided yet, actually, if they will return with this cord overall. 
But if you vote in the comments here, you can push BMW towards it if you like this cord or corduroy material. I would love to see it in a series production vehicle once again. And you know that the manufacturers, they read our comment section and then they also check out the customer feedback from you. And then they can also take the feedback for real production cars. Seating position here, in this, you know, this feeling here, it feels really spacious because of all that glass surrounding here. You can see the, the front windscreen is put way down there. So we have to see, but as I said, 90% of things you will see will be series production models. So it is actually already quite realistic. I still have some headroom with 189 or 6 for 2 there's no problem. And it feels actually like mid-size sedan alike in a way, but then again, here it goes really wide in the front, so the spacious feeling is indeed present. More fabric use, it more feels like a living room, actually. And you can maybe also already see a glimpse of that. There is this new so-called panoramic vision, and that is a blending of instruments and head-up display, and it will also actually blend with the screens here. So you can actually then move parts from the screen here to the part in front of that. So this is this interaction between the two screens, which is a completely new idea, actually. And here, this cockpit overview, you can see the screen has a very interesting new form, leans a little bit towards the driver. And here you can once again see how I can move with two fingers and send stuff then to this virtual dashboard in the top of the screen. And it really blends a little bit between the digital world and the reality. I can very well see the speed right there. Projected range here at the moment is 476 kilometers and battery status of 68%. Hmm. And we'll see if that one is actually realistic. Temperature control will be here in the lower part as sliders. Yeah, I'm not sure if the physical buttons will return at some point. I hope, but of course there will also be voice input and so on. And the gear selector here is in that lower part. I suppose you will be able to flip that actually and press here on park mode on the side. You've maybe already seen when I use the temperature here, also the screen changes to the temperature, so to speak, like warmer or colder. And we can also activate the sport mode here. And we also have a reaction both from the screen and from this digital head-up display field there in the front. And you'll also be able to control this head-up display here with swiping gestures at the steering wheel. If you take a look here at the floor, also how the front seats are attached, everything seems to be flying or is a little bit you know, elevated from the ground. As for the legroom, it fits for tall adults. See the angle of the legs could be improved maybe in the standard version and also underneath this glass roof I can still sit here. So it is actually for adult proof even though it's a concept. More right microfiber use and so on and this whole interior is animal leather free so it is a whole vegan interior of course not only good for animals humans also for the environment because it's here the biggest lever on the interior you can pull to make an interior more sustainable So my two favorite features are the angular Bauhaus style on the exterior and the cord or corduroy seats on the interior, reminding me of the BMW E30. What are your favorite features? Tell me in the comments. And also, do you think this one here is better or the Mercedes concept that was recently shown? <laughs>